Good evening, everybody. I'm Denshin Asenshi, and welcome to my official playthrough of the original Deus Ex. This was one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. I love Deus Ex so much. It still remains one of my favorite games to this day. I was so glad when I found out it came out on Steam. There, uh, there was a studio that actually did a revision of Deus Ex that I have played about halfway through. It's, it's so difficult, so amazing, and I may do a playthrough of that at some point, but for now we're just going to do the original Deus Ex, because I like the nostalgia factor of it, it's just the plain, simple, no no frills added, just the original game. It's so much fun, we're going to get it. go ahead and get into it, going to start a new game here. Medium difficulty, I don't like playing on easy. Feels too, well, easy, I guess. Um, what I generally tend to do, because um, I especially like trying to go for a no-kill round um, in this first as first mission, so what I generally just do is upgrade my computer, electronics, and lockpicking skills. That takes me down to 275 skill points. I'm not going to change the name or the appearance or anything, because that doesn't matter. Um, but generally, that's what I do is upgrade the computer, electronics, and lockpicking. I've already got pistol trained. They give you that right at the start, which helps with the uh, mini crossbow for the tranquilizer darts that I like to use a lot. So that helps a lot. So we're going to go ahead and get into the first mission. And here we go. Intro time. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessarily, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So that is the intro. I know it's a little vague. There's really not much to go on from that intro, but you will find out much more as we get in. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. I thought I got the right... I got it. I thought I got the right crate. I was looking for the lockpick, not the binoculars. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you NACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. 
Now, I personally am going to take the crossbow. When, when I first played this game when I was younger and for many years I would always take the gap gun because um, as he'll explain if I do to choose the gap gun option which I'm not going to choose there's a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance um, that I could take out with the gap gun but I can avoid its patrol route completely so I'm not even going to bother with taking the gap gun I can pick the gap gun up at a later date if I want um, well, uh, I should mention gap GEP stands for guided explosive projectile it's a rocket launcher essentially so I'm going to take the crossbow the crossbow Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. So that's the general situation for this first mission here. We've got terrorists that have blown up the, uh... NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. Uh, as you can see, terrorists have blown up the Statue of Liberty in there now. Oh my god. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their oh field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. He's just standing there. This game has taught me a lot about being tactical and being sneaky and stuff like that, so... I tend to like taking this route a little bit more than an actual full-on, like... What the hell? I thought there was normally something on that body, so that actually kind of sucks. I know there's somebody walking around here that's, that's carrying another mini crossbow that's got more tranquilizer darts in it. I gotta figure out which one it is. Freight base is under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? You met go command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. We're taking a minimum force approach. We're cops after all. Which I do like to ask me. I think we should frag them all. We trespass on UNETCO property. Get pumped full of lead. America. When due process fails us, we really do live in a world of terror. Thought you nanowogs were supposed to be badass killing machines. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. Some advice. You get out there, you're gonna have to tangle with some real sons of bitches. Yep. Best thing is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. Okay, so he says he should start turn that stuff over to the quartermaster, but then he's selling it to me. Um, I'm gonna take the Here's more tranquilizer, the tranquilizer darts, obviously. Darts. So much for that minimum force approach. And yeah, that is minimum force approach. I'm not gonna kill them. I'm just gonna knock them the fuck out. So I'm gonna go over here. Welcome aboard, Agent. Well, thank you. This crate should be a multi-tool. Yes, that's gonna come in handy. Is this anything? No. Um, I, I don't remember where you actually find the uh, code for this, but I've played this game so many times I know exactly what the code is. It's 0451. Just in case anyone's curious. More Trank Darts. Okay, I already knew this as well. SATCOM, login, and then password UNATCO underscore 001. Yes, we will beat you at Darts on Saturday, suckas. I think I missed that part. Uh, med kit. 
So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Satcom netco underscore zero zero one. No need for hacking. Nothing. Unlocked and open. And that opened this little hatch here, just outside the uh, frickin' I don't know what you call this. Oh. I did some slight damage to the box, so I only got to hit it once. Bam! Electromagnetic pulse grenade. Everything was clear an hour ago. Then, boom! Yeah, that's generally how that stuff happens. Better have the right equipment, or you'll be sorry. I'm not interested. Check, back, check with back with you later. I'm trying to go around the back, see if there's anything, uh, anything that I missed. Cause it has been a while since I've played this. Oh, yeah, there is. I forgot back here. And the lock pick, great. My orders are to hang back. Yeah, I'm aware. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody's got some trank darts. I think it's him, actually. Oh, excuse me. So there's that security bot I was talking about. I wish I could remember which one had the tranquilizer darts because I'm going to need every single... Oh. There you are. Got him. Oh, Be God, careful. That's what the, the NSF oh, has set up patchwork security systems oh, here. God! So what did he have? God! 10 million, 10 million amount on a knife. <gasps> oh, found the guy with the tranquilizer darts. <laughs> oh, God. It's not how I wanted to start this off, but all right. Oh, there's that security bot again. Gonna wait for him to pass through uh, that little area right there. He'll come across there. Okay. Oops, that's something I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And then just run across to this control panel before he sees me. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. doesn't count as a kill.
don't want this guy seeing me if I can avoid it. There's another guy upstairs too. Didn't see that. See if I can sneak up behind this guy and hit him with the prod. Because if he's just doing a circle around... I think I'm in the dark right now, so I don't think he can see me. We're about to find out, I guess. Gonna be a piece of cake. Sneak up behind him. And I think Gunther is being held behind this laser triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. That's exactly what I'm doing. I've never triggered that dialogue before. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels. That's exactly where I am. There's apparently a beer sitting down here. Good old 40. Pick the lock. God. Oh God. How did he not see me? I was stuck on the chair, so... Oh, man. They found us!
Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Oh, Command should not have left us to so be surrounded. They got to run away without killing him. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason they said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. As, As you, wish, you wish, take my pistol. Take my pistol. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. Yes, sir. I said you fucking close the door on me. And I'm not going to waste the multi tool on disabling that laser trip wire because I can just get around it in the uh, maintenance shaft. It takes a little more time, but it can be done. So as far as the game is concerned, I still haven't killed anybody yet. Gunther has, but I haven't. Another med kit for well, I was gonna say for no reason, but then heal up the torso because I did take a little damage earlier. Pick up the lock pick. There's a guy who patrols this corridor. Let's see where he is. He is nowhere to be found. Oh no, he's down there. Okay, so. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneak over here real quick. I need this. So let me go pick this up real quick. <sighs> Did they find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how's a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF colonel? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. Right. Alright, so let's see if I can sneak across here without getting caught. Yep, sure can. has reestablished contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Always do. Go ahead and equip this real quick. This is what I did the last time I did this mission. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. I think you can see where this is going. There's two guys at the top of the stairs here. I know you can't see them, but I know this mission, like the back of my hand. There's two guys at the top of the stairs. I'm going to chuck the gas grenade, stun them, run through the gas, and get up to the command center. So here we go. They found us. Ah, yes, got both ah, of them. Ah, it's worth taking the damage. Ah, ah, Easy. We want you to take ah, this one alive and ah, conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Okay, that's not bad. Now, this is the last resistance I'm going to encounter, so... Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Oh, if only... No. Tell me about the shipment, nice. and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. 
Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. I heard somebody cocking their gun downstairs. I don't know who that was. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single fact to back that up. Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. In 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. It's a Chief conspiracy. Let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is handpicked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You know, I've never actually looked up if the Trilateral Commission is actually a thing. In the years that I've been playing this, I've never actually looked. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, so our mission objectives are complete. What do we have here? A candy bar. Well, that is going to be important for later. I'm not even being sarcastic. Oh, dead body. <laughs> yeah. I didn't kill anybody, so I'm safe. Knocked out a couple people with trank darts. They sent us in to pick up Stunned the pieces. Some gas grenades. I call this a win-win overall. Only made a couple of slight blunders, but nothing too serious. Didn't even kill anybody with the turrets either. And there's Paul. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know UNATCO handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. UNATCO makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. He says a slightly different thing if you kill people. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. He says, I think some long lines of, well, pace yourself, you killed a lot Check of people tonight. Manderley on level two. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. He sounds like he's laughing when he says that. I don't know if... I don't know if that's just me or... I don't know, but... Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level two. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Yeah, yeah. Unlocked. Grab the nano key. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Are you making fun of me? Shut the door. And here's... Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation topside? A refreshing change from the academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir.
I love the background music. Here, let's let's go check out my office. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? Yes, I see here that she did. I could have sworn I had a bookshelf in here. GCD password Bionic Man. Just a couple of things from Jaime and Med Directorate. Whatever. All right, let's go get our medical checkup. Did I pick up the? Yes, I did. I was gonna be so mad if I if I <laughs> come all the way down here and forgotten to pick up the, uh, the augmentation canister up at the top of the statue. I kind of need that. I mean, I don't technically need it, but it does come in handy. Shut the door behind me. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. Oh. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC. About your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. I think I picked one of those up at the top of the statue. Maybe you did. My order from Versalife was on the ship the NSF captured. You'll need to take it to one of the medbots for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Have you met your partner yet, Anna Navarra? I think she and Gunther are upstairs in the break room. Haven't run into her. A real piece of work. Maybe you should compare notes before the operation. You never know. She might go easier on you. She's a bitch! Now, we can either do microfiber muscle or combat strength. And what's the difference, you ask? Microfiber muscle lets you lift heavier objects in the overworld, whereas combat strength increases your melee damage. So, um, I usually go with uh, the microfiber muscle because I use that a lot more often in game than I do the combat strength. I don't really melee all that often, except for in couple of later missions where you get a really nice weapon, but I'm not going to spoil that. You'll, you'll see that when I get to that point eventually. So I'm going to install the microfiber muscle. Heal myself all the way back up. And head to the armory. Well, no, I'm not going to head to the armory yet. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it with me and doors? You're getting warm. What? Am I now? Take the candy bar. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Chunko honey. I've never actually read the. Hmm. Never actually read the print on the. Uh... Oh, hey, look who I found. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry. We shut it down when you go off duty. You're dark. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Not really that great of a compliment if you think about it. Let's see, does this have the... Schadenfreude? Yeah, I was hoping one of these would have the... Uh... I was hoping one of those would have the, uh... You feel okay, JC? You're acting strange. Alright, so now we go get our equipment from... Mr. Carter. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. 
Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Multi-tool might not be might, multi-tool might not be a bad idea. Can you spare a nanotech tech tool? A man who uses his head. I like that. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Captain. Right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armor. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good. All right, so I'm going to head upstairs. Uh, I know they said to go meet with Manderley, but there's a couple more people we gotta go see. You're gonna enjoy this, this is funny. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. He's getting so pissed off. About an orange soda. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. You bitch! My vision is augmented. At least it is a way that we know when it's not foul. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. I didn't kill anybody, Let us though. Hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. Yes, I will. No, I don't know that. But, uh, after my way. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant. Protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarra, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue, plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. So I wonder what the equivalent of that is in American dollars. I don't. I don't think I. I don't think he actually just we'll gave up me in the city. Twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I got everything in the com van. Um, there really aren't too many other places I can go in Yanako HQ right now. I'm not gonna waste a lockpick on the uh, broom closet. Wish there. I was going with you. No, you don't. <laughs> Trust me, where I'm going, you don't want to be there. It's not fun. Like, I'm not even joking. This this is gonna get ugly. This is gonna get really, really ugly, really fast. <gasps> All just goes downhill from here.
Alright, so here we are, back out on the dock, right where we started. Um, once I click, once I right click on the boat, um, that is going to send me to Battery Park to go deal with some more uh, NSF terrorists. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Um, we'll pick up in the next episode um, right at this exact spot. In fact, um, I'm going to save it right now. So you can see if this is going to be the exact same Let's Play. Official Let's Play thing and stuff. Ta-da! Okay, so I guess I'm going to leave the episode there. Um, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll pick this back up in episode two of Deus Ex.